Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Joey's Hugs here. Welcome to today's video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to a full day of eating high protein. I have some incredible, incredible news I'm going to share with you. But first, we got to go to the gym. It's about 5.30 a.m. We got Perry with us mixing up some pre-workout for herself as well. It's a weekday today, so I'm be taking you through kind of my weekday routine, everything that I've been eating, doing while like keeping a full-time job. And part of that is waking up early, going to the gym typically like four days a week. And that is the plan right now. We've arrived, both slurping down our pre's. Today's gonna be a shoulders day. I think Perry's gonna hit a little bit of chest. I hit chest like two days ago, so. Probably not the most exciting workout, but definitely needs to be done and trying to hit more shoulders, my, get my shoulder frequency up. It's also the day after the Super Bowl, so hopefully the gym's gonna be a little less crowded than normal. Yeah, it was uh, definitely very crowded and very loud, so I decided to do a voiceover. And uh, as you can tell, I'm just focusing on some stretching, some mobility movements, really trying to get some mobility up in my shoulders. I've been having a lot of like pain and impingement. So this is kind of a standard routine I've been doing for every workout as well as a mini massage gun been helping out quite a bit. First exercise is a shoulder press machine, but this puts a lot of focus on the front head of your shoulder, which I really enjoy. So went heavy, did about four sets of eight reps and then worked into a actual, oh, actually I said to say hello to Perry. Then we worked into some dumbbell overhead shoulder press. Um, Perry went and then I went really kind of focusing on form here and not too heavy of weight, but doing it properly. Had to bust out the TLF stringer underneath the hoodie and finish out the rest of these reps. Then we worked into a, a kind of weird, kind of good machine. Uh, it's like a shoulder lateral raise machine. And then I supersetted that with dumbbell shoulder lateral raises and me and Perry supersetted that together and then finished out with a crossover for the rear delts as well. And for my cardio sipping stack, the Transplant Labs post and creatine every single day. All right, workout complete. Perry, thoughts on that? It was like a three out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> it just, it wasn't that good of a workout. I, I mean, Monday scared. morning, super early, day after Super Bowl. Yeah, but we got it done. And that's kind of been like my motto here recently. I, like, I haven't been having the best workouts ever and I'm feeling like extra fluffy and thick, but I'm like, it's two hours max out of my day. Might as well just push, get it done, and do the best that I can. But workout done, and now time for possibly the best news I've heard in the past couple months. All right, post-workout today, we're gonna be having some of my favorite flavor of the Transparent Lab protein, but that's not what I wanna show you. Check this out. So, if you've been watching the series for a little bit, you know how upset I am about the MyFitnessPal no scanner. So you try to press the scanner button, takes you to an ad to buy the yearly plan for $80, which is freaking insane. But someone DM'd me and showed me this incredible chick. Watch this. So we're gonna go to more settings, profile, location, and then find Canada. All right, so set your location on your profile to Canada. Now when you come back, press the barcode scanner, boom, there it is. And it works. How insane is that? I don't know if it works for any other locations I haven't really tried, but it works for this and that's all that matters. So for the time being, it looks like I'm in Canada. So you don't get premium, all the, like, the premium features are still locked besides the barcode scanner, which is really the only thing that I care about. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my one scoop, two scoop. I don't know why or how that works, but I am so happy it does. All the other apps were okay. But like, I think I was just so used to my fitness pal, that's just gonna be the easiest thing for me to use. Two scoops going down for breakfast. I gotta get ready for work. All right, first order of business today. I am still in this tiny little BMW. There's something wrong with the doors. My mom's getting it taken in, so now I'm taking her car. Still waiting on my truck, no new news, and uh, it sounds like they're gonna help out a little bit, but not sure as of yet. Who are you talking to? Huh? Hi, how Hi. are you? All right, a couple hours has passed now. I've just been diligently working at my battle station, but it's roughly like 11.20, 11.30, 
And this is typically when I have like my first actual meal of the day. Let me show you exactly what I'm making up. This has been one of my favorite breakfasts. All oh, you're gonna need some oats. I use about 50 grams of the quick oats, then some cinnamon, about a dash or however much you want, a couple cracks of some sea salt, and then sugar-free syrup. I used about 30 to 40 grams of this. Water, I use a lot of water and I microwave for a very long time. And that gets that really nice consistency that I'm showing you right now. Then I top with about 10 grams of Lily's Stevia sweetened chocolate chips and a Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt packet. That's how we're looking, mm, delicious. And breakfast is served. I mean, come on, how would you not want to eat this every single day? very good it's also very very filling and for not too many calories or the entire bowl is only like 310 calories didn't even include the syrup because there's like no calories in that which sets us up pretty nice 600 calories for the day with 75 grams of protein so getting the day started early with some proteins always nice and keeps me like full later on in the day cannot complain about that so if this holds me over for the morning time while i get some work done All right, it is roughly like 12.30ish. Uh, finished up some work and it's now like lunch time, whatever time, break time. And uh, for my like midday break, really enjoy just like a little bit of light cardio or more important for me right now, some stretching mobility and things like that. So I got my massage gun back here. I'm gonna do some doorway stretches, probably some foam rolling. I don't know, maybe walk on the treadmill for like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe ride the bike for 10 to 15 minutes, get a little active throughout my day. I feel like it just clears my head. One, helps me focus the second half of my day and burns a little extra calories here and there. <sighs> All right, we just finished up uh, 40 minutes, about 250 calories burned. Like I said, not really about burning the calories, more about getting mentally ready for the rest of the day and just getting loose throughout the day as well. All right, lunch time. Here's what we got. Let me kind of explain a little bit about it because obviously I didn't make this right now. Every so often, including tonight later on in the video, I make a bunch of food and have it throughout the week. So this right here are some chicken thighs that I cooked in the air fryer actually, um, and then just some green beans chopped up and sauteed in a pan. Super, super basic meal, super bland. Also not a lot of carbs in this meal. It's right now kind of hit or miss if I have carbs with every single meal, but I definitely get them in throughout the day with other stuff. So meal three, pretty basic, but uh, there is like 530 calories in the meal because you have the higher fat content of the chicken thighs and uh, 135 grams of protein for the day, which is pretty, pretty solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, get back to work. Might have a snack afterwards as well, we'll see. But this is a good little quick mid-work meal. And I definitely did have a snack. It was this Korean barbecue beef jerky from Costco, some of the best, and some cha-cha sunflower seeds. Also a very, very good like snacking snack. Hey girl, hey girl, hey sweetie girl. Good afternoon. That's right. As I mentioned, it is time for me to cook some food. Like I said earlier in the video, I typically like to cook a lot of food like once or twice a week. So that way I have a lot to kind of switch my meals up throughout the week. And I also just don't have to cook every single meal every single day. So that is the plan. And we have all sorts of stuff to cook up. Um, I'm just gonna run you through what I'm doing for each one. Starting off with the sweet potatoes, I'm gonna keep it very, very simple for these. I'm just gonna wrap them in tin foil. Put them in the oven at 350 for like 30 to 45 minutes until I know that they're soft all the way throughout. And that is pretty much it for that. For the potatoes, this can take a little more time, but I'm just gonna go ahead and chop these up. And here we go with the potatoes. And I'm actually gonna try something new. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts and put them in the bowl. All right, that truthfully only took me a couple minutes and look at how much volume we have in this bowl of some mixed veggies. Next, I'm gonna use some of this avocado spray. Just a couple squirts here and there, kind of lube everything up. And while I'm doing that, I'm also gonna season with my two favorite seasonings right now, the Kinder's Blend Seasoning and the Wood Fire Garlic Seasoning. Once again, I really think these are gonna cook all very well together and it provides a lot of volume with some really good complex carbs. <laughs> All right, just a couple shakes later. Here's what we're left with. Everything is looking super nice and tasty. I'm gonna go ahead now and just toss it on the pan. 
And this is gonna go in the oven as well at 350, probably for about 35 to 45 minutes, as well as stirring it around halfway. But like I said, in the oven for 30 minutes to start. And now we can focus on our meats. We have mahi, we have salmon, we have chicken and ground turkey. We're gonna go ahead and put both of these in the air fryer together, but let me show you how we're gonna season them up. So we have our fillets here. These are gonna go in the air fryer, like I said, but season them, we're gonna start off with using some Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning. And we're actually gonna use this for the mahi. I'm not fully sure how to describe this, but it's like the edge of a spicy margarita or like those uh, hot chili lime chips. I don't know, but it's really, really good, especially on fish. For these salmon, we're gonna be using the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, another incredible seasoning. And I know what you're thinking, doesn't sound like that goes good on fish, but I promise you, if you have it, you try it, you will not want to stop eating it. So same thing here, I'm gonna coat both sides and then wrap it in tin foil. And in my opinion here, I saved the best for last. For these salmon, we're gonna be using some of the wood fire garlic again from Kinder's. Get a good lather on both sides. And then the secret ingredient for these, some honey. So you just wanna drizzle a little bit of honey over each filet, you don't have to do both sides, just the top is fine. When cooking it in the air fryer, this adds a really nice caramelization and like a glaze over your salmon. And these are good to go in your air fryer. So my air fryer has a seafood setting that cooks it at 375 for eight minutes. I actually really like it when it cooks it at like 380 to 385 for eight minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do for the fish tonight. For the chicken, I just slice it up into about one inch-ish cubes. And I think I'm gonna try a little combo on this of some uh, alote seasoning and some of the blend seasoning from Kinder's. Same thing here, just put a little on. These are gonna end up making like some boneless chicken nuggets pretty much. And here's how we're looking. These will also be going in the air fryer, a different air fryer. And these I like to be about 380 to 390 for anywhere from like 12 to 15 minutes. All right, and for the ground turkey, that might be our easiest recipe yet. All we're gonna do is toss it into a hot pan uh, and brown it up. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of seasoning. Let's change it up a little bit with uh, some sugar-free chipotle barbecue seasoning. Pretty good for like a taco seasoning substitute and I think it's gonna go really well with the ground turkey. So that should take like under 10 minutes to get that all browned and cooked up as well. And that's everything that I laid out tonight. <sighs> we have everything cooked up now. All we have to do is just eat it. All right, now yes, I am about to eat this on the couch watching the Physical 100 Korean show, but check out my plate and what I got here. So a little bit of salmon, a little bit of mahi, and then some of our veggie potato mix. Brussels sprout fell. I can tell you right now, my favorite thing is still probably the salmon out of everything that I made. Um, but the mahi does come close second. And this is the first time I ever made this little mixture together, the broccoli, potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. Very, very impressed with how it turned out. A ton, a ton of flavor. Very, very good all around meal. Real quickly, the rough macros for this meal is around 500 calories. I did weigh everything out, but with the entire mixture, I didn't just weigh each thing individually, weighed the whole thing, and then made it more like potato heavy to make sure I covered for my carbs there. Pop into the macros, we're already over 200 grams of protein. Don't need to worry about that, 217 to be exact. A decent amount of fat today, but a lot of like good or healthier fats within the nuts and the salmon, so we can't be mad at that. I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh, I hope you did enjoy kind of learning or seeing a little bit of the behind the scenes of how I prepare food for the week. Let me know if you do something similar to that or if you change anything up, do it a little different than I do. Always curious to know new ways of doing things. I'm gonna enjoy this and then probably gonna have to have a dessert before bed. That literally was within five minutes. Right, Nanny? She had a bite too. Oh, wow, that was delicious. Oh, it's so good. It's always just so good. Nothing beats a Diet Dr. P cherry for dessert. Yeah, honestly, these have been my desserts recently. Zero calories, super sweet, super satisfying. Like, a, it's all bubbly in your mouth. I don't know, nothing sounds better, honestly. Um, Natty enjoys them as well. One of the main reasons why I wanted to film anyways was just to tell you about the My Fitness Pal hack. If you're like me and you like My Fitness Pal, but you just don't wanna pay a bunch of money for a barcode scanner, 
definitely recommend doing it. And I did want to show the meal prepping for the week as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Please, please down below. Go ahead, share the video to your friends, family, anyone who you think may get some use out of it. Leave your comments down below and I will see you in the next one.